Hi, my name is Robin Brumble. I am a registered nurse of 22 years, and I joined the CLO Society just three months ago as the new Director of Scientific Affairs. During our time together today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of who we are. The CLO Society is a nonprofit organization, and our goal is to provide CLL-specific patient education, support, and research to those we serve. We are dedicated to addressing the unmet needs of the CLL Society. Our motto is smart patients get smart care. And what that means is we believe you should be empowered with the information and the support that you need to feel confident as you navigate through your CLL journey. The good news about CLL is that the treatment landscape is continually evolving. New therapies are coming to the market that provide CLL patients with a variety of options for their care. And although more options can mean there's a lot of information to process. Unfortunately, there's no one size fits all solution as each diagnosis is unique. And there are many factors that influence the decisions that each person needs to make based on their own individual situation. With the growing amount of research and new treatment protocols, it's more important now than ever for CLL patients to remain informed, especially as to what the CLS experts are sharing with us through major hematology and oncology conferences. One of those conferences includes what we often refer to as the ASH annual meeting. ASH actually stands for the American Society of Hematology, and they just held their most recent conference in December of 2020, which the CLL Society had the pleasure of attending. Besides ASH, the CLL Society covers research from the American Society of Clinical Oncology, which is also known as ASCO, or abbreviated as ASCO. The European Hematology Association is another one which we often refer to as EHA or EHA. And then last is the International Workshop on CLL, which is also called IWCLL. In addition to providing updates on ASH, the CLL Society is continually providing opportunities for our patients and their caregivers to learn about the most cutting edge research through various educational modalities in both written and video formats. Our goal is to provide information, educational programming, and support so those with CLL can feel confident in making decisions that are best for them. Now, I would like to take just a few moments to share a summary of how CLL Society is working to support you. The slides that I will be sharing with you today will provide a few hints to help you easily navigate our website so you can find our featured content. These slides will be available for download following today's session. We believe our website serves as an excellent resource for those with CLL and their caregivers. As I mentioned before, you will find an extensive amount of educational content covering a variety of topics on CLL, but it also serves as a place that you can go to register for our various programs and to find some great resources. To name just a few, we have something called the CLL Patient Education Toolkit. I think you'll find this extremely comprehensive and valuable. You can access the toolkit electronically at the bottom of our homepage. Our website also periodically provides opportunities to participate in topic-specific surveys, which gives us a unique opportunity to learn more information about CLL patients and their caregivers. Then that information is used to share the voice of CLL patients with key thought leaders in the CLL world. I would also like to mention that we have a place on our website where you can find answers to your specific questions by going to the Ask the Doctor section, Ask the Laboratory Scientist section, or Ask the Pharmacist section on the website. Next, I would like to encourage you to visit our conference coverage page. Here you will find world-renowned CLL experts discussing the latest evidence-based scientific research. I think you will enjoy, especially Dr. Brian Kaufman's patient-friendly summaries of breaking news shared from all of the major CLL conferences. He accomplishes this through one-on-one -on -one video interviews with experts who originally presented the information. As mentioned previously, these major conferences do include ASH, ASCO, EHA, and IWCLL. 
Another major way that we can help you stay informed on the most up-to-date information is through our weekly alert emails. If you are not already signed up to receive our weekly alerts, would you please consider subscribing? Our audience has shared with us that the weekly alerts serve as an extremely valuable resource. The weekly alert provides highlights from our conference coverage, calls attention to new educational content, and provides an overview of upcoming programs and services. You can subscribe by clicking the sign up button at the very top of our homepage. Once you sign up to receive the weekly alert, you will also receive our quarterly newsletter that is called the Tribune as well. And please don't worry, we promise not to overload your inbox. Speaking of the CLL Society's Tribune, that is our quarterly online newsletter that is distributed to our subscribers via email. Something to note, if you haven't had access to our past issues of the Tribune, you can still easily access them through our website at CLLsociety.org. I would like to point out that the Tribune content is different from our weekly alerts in that it is focused on just one specific CLL topic. The educational materials provided in the Tribune is comprised of newly developed material that features both clinical and supportive information for CLL patients, as well as their caregivers. The CLL Society provides another fantastic way to learn through joining a group of peers via our patient and caregiver support groups. Joining a CLL Society support group is a great way to connect with other people with CLL and learn more interactively from a group of peers in your area. After attending support groups, an overwhelming majority of CLL Society support group members reported being more comfortable with their CLL diagnosis, feeling more knowledgeable about CLL, and are more involved in their CLL management as a direct result of their involvement in these groups. Right now, our support groups are meeting virtually due to the pandemic. If you would like to sign up for a group or learn more about a group in your area, simply go to the location map, select the group nearest to you, and sign up to be included on their distribution list. Next, we here at the CLL Society understand that getting the right tests at the right time is an essential component of appropriate CLL treatment and management. Please visit our testing page to find out more about what tests you might need and when you might need them. More specifically, our Tests Before Treat campaign was created based on important research from the IWCLL and ASH including research specifically from Dr. Anthony Mado. What CLL experts have found is that a good percentage of CLL patients are still not receiving the correct tests before beginning their treatment, which can lead to ineffective or even harmful treatment results. You can also take our tests before treat survey and test your knowledge on the topic. Another tool the CLL Society provides is a one-page information sheet on tests before treat that you can download and share with your provider. Now, I would like to take some time to highlight our medical advisory board here at the CLL Society. We believe there is tremendous value to partnering with the very best CLL physicians and researchers in the world and having them join our cause. The CLL Society's Medical Advisory Board is comprised of only the top CLL experts who are dedicated to improving the lives of those with CLL. We are very fortunate to have Dr. Weirda and Dr. Mado included as part of this world-renowned group of CLL experts. And last, I would like to share another opportunity and way that you can get involved and that is to participate in the CLL Society's patient and caregiver surveys. The CLL Society has presented important findings from our survey research at multiple hematology conferences, including ASH. Currently, we are in the final days of collecting survey data pertaining to limited or what is also sometimes referred to fixed duration therapies and being tested for MRD status. We would love to hear from you survey questions help us understand about your awareness, understanding, and preferences concerning these various treatment options. Please help us help you by completing this survey. I would like to close by thanking all of you 
our patients, and our partners. Many of you have volunteered your time, and many of you have even provided financial support. Your financial donations are what continues to make our work here at the CLL Society possible. Our team is honored to be your go-to resource for CLL education and support. We remain committed as an organization more than ever to help smart patients get smart care. And as our founder, Dr. Brian Kaufman always says, stay strong, we are all in this together. Thank you.